China's foreign ministry took strong exception to Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s congratulatory message to Taiwan's leader-elect Lai Ching-ti, leading to the summoning of the Philippine ambassador. Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning asserted that Marcos's remarks constituted a serious violation of the Philippines' political commitments to China and amounted to a rude interference in China's internal affairs. China, which regards Taiwan as its own territory, insists on its recovery by force if necessary, and vehemently condemns any statements that confer legitimacy on the island's government. Mao warned the Philippines against playing with fire on the Taiwan issue, urging an immediate halt at any misguided words and actions related to Taiwan. She emphasized the need for the Philippines to refrain from sending signals that support Taiwan's independence and separatist forces. Assistant Foreign Affairs Minister Dong Rong summoned the Philippine ambassador to China to express the country's dissatisfaction and demand a responsible explanation from the Philippines. Marcos J.R.B.'s congratulatory message to Taiwan's leader-elect, shared on social media, expressed his anticipation of close collaboration and the strengthening of mutual interests. Lai, known to be disliked by Beijing, has vowed to protect Taiwan's de facto independence from China and align it further with other democracies. In response to U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's congratulations to Lai, China's foreign ministry criticized the message stating that it sent a gravely wrong signal to Taiwan independent separatist forces. The ministry argued that Blinken's congratulations contradicted the United States' commitment to maintaining only unofficial TIs with Taiwan.